How's it going everyone? In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to sell covered calls. One of my favorite income sources in the stock market. But before we get started with this video, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Click that thumbs up button and click that bell icon so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. Let's get right into this. We're going to use BAC, Bank of America, for this example. This is something I do hold personally. Um, and I will give you two reasons I like this stock real quick. It has dividends and it has liquidity to sell covered calls on. One little tip before I go on, I do not like to sell covered calls the week of dividends. That being said, let's take a look at the options chain here. When I'm selling covered calls, occasionally I will sell weeklies, yes, same week expiration, but what I typically do, I like to go out to this monthly expiration and that's where I sell covered calls. Now, let me walk you through the basics of a covered call. You have to own 100 shares of the stock to do this on. It can be BAC, it can be Ford. You know, just be sure there's liquidity on the options. The spreads are good. You do not want to be stuck trying to do this with bad spreads on a stock where there's no liquidity with the options. So in order for me to sell covered costs, I would have to purchase 100 shares of BAC. Okay, now let's just assume I have 100 shares. So let's say we want to sell Let's go out to this expiration, to December 16th, 2022. Now let's say our average cost is $37. So we got 100 shares at $37. What I like to do, I like to come out, um, especially if it's a stock I, I don't want to lose. So what? let me explain something really quick. If we sell a cover, this 40 call for instance, if we sell this and on expiration date, you know, BAC closes at $41, $42. We're going to be re required to sell all our shares at $40 per share. Yes, we're selling in the profits. Yes, we collected. This premium is what you're going to collect whenever you sell covered costs. So let's start, scratch that, and then let's start again. We just purchased, say, last week we picked up BAC at $37 per share. Okay, me personally, I do not want to lose my shares here. I want to hold this for dividends. So I'm going to come out, you know, a few dollars away from the money. That way there's less risk of me having to sell my shares unless there's just some crazy run up. So let's sell this 41 call that expires on December 16th, 2022. We'll collect um, about a $38, $39 premium here. So now We've created another income source. We sell this here. You can click that. You go to sell. And we're going to, if you just got 100 shares, you only can sell one. Keep that in mind. Let's raise this limit up. Try to get a little better feel there. Then, you know, we would submit our order. And, you know, it's done. Basic stuff there. Just kind of walk you through that. Give you a little feel for that. Okay, let's say, let's walk through another scenario here. So we've sold this call that expires you know, December 16th. We collected that $38 premium, so we've made $38 for selling this covered call on our 100 shares of BAC. Now, let's say it does, you know, it just has a good run up. We end up required to sell. Okay, it closes above our strike price. We have to sell our covered calls. Another thing, you know, when I'm looking to buy back my shares, I don't just simply go purchase them. What I like to do is sell cash secured puts okay but and that's how i like to buy back my shares because i'm collecting premium on them but that's something for another video i will have that coming up for you this week as well okay now let's say that we're still in this um we still haven't you know we're still holding this we sold that 41 call uh, we still have a 100 shares now let's say what happens if the stock just goes down you know say it goes down to like 35 this call is now pretty much worthless you're like okay we're you know i'm a, i'm happy with my profits i'm set i'm up 70 percent from selling this covered call so how do i lock in that profit you simply you simply select it then you uh you buy it back okay the same exact one you buy it back for whatever it may be worth at that time probably be like 
I don't know, $5 or something. You just buy it back and if you pay, you know, if you collected $38, you bought it back for $5. You can do the math there. That's your profit from this. And that's it for this video. I wanted to keep it real beginner friendly. If you have any questions about any of this, feel free to reach out to me. I will be dropping a cash secure put video soon. Let me know that you all like this sort of stuff and want to see, you know, more income. Please be sure you hit that thumbs up button. It really helps me out. As always, I appreciate y'all for watching and I'll see you next time.